This is a video about why I've hated my skin for the past 13 years. My body, the, the what I what I currently live in, like my flesh, isn't isn't necessarily the thing that will get exalted or glorified at the end of the day. Who lives on the inside of me, which is Christ, which is the Holy Spirit, is the thing that's gonna get magnified. And really, everything that I've been through, or everything that I've um, you know gone through with my insecurities or whatever, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because God can still use me for his glory because he still lives within me and I'm essentially just a clay vessel. I'm essentially just a jar um, that gets filled with, with him in order to do what I have to do. So that being said, this whole entire series that I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna do a couple of these videos, it's gonna be about um, the things that I've learned during this time of quarantine. So during this quarantine, I've kind of been just with the Lord and I've been praying and I've been, you know, just reading a couple books about being um, delivered from things that have that have kept you bound and strongholds and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of talk to you about some of the things that I've uncovered. I'm not trying to be introspective. I'm just trying to to this is more like a self therapy. Like I, I really am not worried about who watches this. I'm just speaking what I've been feeling, getting it off my chest. Um, in the best way that I can, which is just to say it. Um, okay, so why have I hated my skin for the past 13 years? Well, 13 years ago is when I started to develop acne. Um, acne at the beginning wasn't as bad as you think, you know, it was just a couple of bumps on my forehead and, you know, in my T-zone. Right from the jump, I was one of the first people in my fourth grade class to develop acne while others are developing acne in middle school and high school even after college i was developing it at a very early age um just my hormones my growing like just just everything was just full speed ahead going full-fledged you know i tried a couple things here and there um that kind of you know made it go away slightly but i didn't see any clarity and i'm about to go through the entire skin journey just to talk just to say it um <laughs> Um, I didn't see any real clarity until I tried proactive and I used that all throughout um, my middle school my entire middle school I was using proactive it wasn't until eighth grade um, the end of eighth grade where I remember my skin was absolutely perfect like there was no blemishes I was still using proactive granted um, and I was looking in the mirror and I was like it's not good enough I remember uh, maybe it's because I had a couple of pigmentation scarrings or whatever the case might be but I looked in the mirror and I said I am not where I want to be I'm not perfect I my skin is not perfect so I begged my mom to buy me Murad which was it was being advertised on the tv at the time as being like better than proactive and I was like oh well if it's better than proactive I should give it a try um um while you're reading the instructions for this new product hey you know you might break out it's purging whatever like you might break out and then it'll go down after two weeks but here i was at the end of my um at the end of my middle school years and it wasn't getting better like it was two weeks three weeks four weeks and it was just breaking out more and breaking out more and breaking out more um it got especially worse right after um school ended um so now i'm in the summer of um eighth grade um before before high school and I was like, oh, I can't, like this is, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. So I went to a dermatologist, got prescribed a couple things, Retin-A, Clindamycin, and then I was put on um, some antibiotics, probably penicillin. Um, that didn't work. I ended up breaking out. And this, mind you, all of this is happening before, in, the, in, the, in that summer. Um, so yeah, I tried that, that didn't work, made it worse. When I tell you it made it worse, it made it worse like i i'll insert p pictures because i can't i really can't describe it to the fullest like it was it was atrocious like you can see the color of my skin underneath like a severe acne severe um um then i went to another dermatologist who went into the room and two seconds later already whipped out her little book started prescribing me um more antibiotics um took me off of the 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 creams that i was on and then put me on this 
this sulfur medication, um, topical medication. Um, she started putting me on um, different skin creams and I don't even remember at that point what she put me on. Made it five times worse. Um, up until the point where I, where I went to another dermatologist who then said, hey, uh, I think you should go on Accutane. And this is something that, that is the, the cure-all, although it only works um, from 50 to 70% of people who actually take it. Um, and basically what it does is it strips the, the sebum production from your entire body. So your hair gets less oily, your skin gets less oily. Literally, you have to drink water every day. You have to lather your face with, with oils and not oils, but moisturizing creams and stuff. Your eyeballs dry out um, and then you can have prolonged effects throughout the rest of your life. Not only that, but some people have experienced um, suicidal thoughts, depression, heightened anxiety on the pill. Um, as well as um, you have to be on birth control if you're sexually active um, because um, especially if you're a woman if you're a woman you basically have to be on birth control um, I didn't end up going on it um, I just knew that there was a history of mental illness in my in my in my family before and I also had watched a documentary that just had popped on HBO or something about some some boy who took Accutane and then he jumped off a cliff like and I was literally, this was days before um, I was actually due to go and start the process of it. So I'm like, no, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I was scared out of my mind. Um, and then I went and found acne.org by myself, Googling what's the best thing, what's going to cure my acne. I ordered it and I literally, it shows up in the mail probably two days before I start high school. Okay, so now this acne.org showed up and it dried my skin out for probably four months and then all of a sudden you know when it's august i made a video about it i'll insert the link up here just so you can watch all day i'm not going to go over it again but it cleared my skin like my my skin was completely clear so fast forward my skin's clear now from acne.org but this consumer mentality came over me and every time that i'd felt like my skin was clear i wanted to try something new because something else was out there something else was coming out so i would switch out i would switch out the moisturizer i'd switch out the the cleanser i'd switch you know certain things out and then my skin would vary so sometimes it would be super clear sometimes it wouldn't and you know if i had just stuck to the original instructions of acne.org which cleared my skin i would have stayed clear but i just wanted to keep trying new things keep trying new things keep buying new things instead of just sticking to what worked um and then so there would be periods where i'd break out again just not as bad obviously but i'd break out again which sent me into depression and anxiety and um the reason being is because you know i knew that at any moment i could go back to what i was that summer before high school i could go back to a face full of acne um, the sad part is that sometimes you feel like a liar when you walk outside and you're wearing four different creams to make your face look clear but you know if like a zombie apocalypse were to break out and you had no access to all of these products you'd go out and show people what you truly look like a lot of me a part of me wanted to even still to this day want to be completely cured of acne but I've never been able to be completely cured of acne. Um, and sometimes I even go back and think, should I have taken Accutane and risked mental health and risked, um, you know, the fact that it might not have even worked. There are people in, 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 in this world who have taken it, who who their skin clears up for a couple months and then they break out again just as bad as before. Um, and then they have to go on two rounds of it and then their st acne still comes back and you know, they're risking themselves even more every time. And um, if you stop taking care of your skin or if, you know, if you let if you let yourself go for a couple of weeks that you'll be breaking out. It's just you internally. I want to be clear for forever. Like I want to be clear. I don't always want to be buying products and trying things, but I've had to accept that over time. Um, during the midst of just everything, I had to I, I had stopped using um, acne.org. Obviously, I broke that broke out. I tried Curology for the first couple years of college. Um, so basically off through high school, I had used acne.org. Um, then I tried Curology, which 
it it cleared my skin but I was still I was still breaking out way too much so then I decided to go vegan um, which kept me relatively clear but I would still be breaking out every once in a while so Curology made my skin look super smooth don't get me wrong like I looked I glowed but I was still getting breakouts um, and the only way that I would stay 100% clear is if I was following 100% strict vegan diet so now I'm back on acne.org and so right now you can see that my face is red it look my skin looks pretty good today but it's really red and irritated because it takes a couple months for my skin to get used to everything. Um, I have a couple, let me bring it in. I have a couple of small pimples and literally, my skin looks great today. I have one right there, a small one there, but not even gonna lie, my skin has um, improved drastically again being on acne.org. And honestly, what I have to say about that is I'm okay. If I have to be on acne.org for the rest of my life. Um, I'm not a vegan anymore. I'm going to talk to you about that in another video. I'm sorry I rambled. But this has helped. Um, and basically just to end the video. I want to say that. I've been chasing perfection for so long. I've I've had days where I felt like nobody could possibly love me when I have acne and my skin is, has been so wishy-washy over the years that it's been my biggest fear that that you know somebody would see the acne that I have and be like wow that's who she really is that's what she really looks like I always look in the mirror and see that girl with thousands of pimples on her face no matter how clear my skin gets and I always realize that if it wasn't my acne it would have been something else that I'd be worried about if it wasn't my acne that it'd be see these moles that I've had, it would be that. I'd be wanting to laser them off because I don't feel pretty in them. Or it'd be my nose, my nose is huge. <laughs> or it'd be the fact that my lips are really small. You know, it'd be, it would be something else. Um, and I'm done. I wanna stick to acne.org. Obviously there'll probably be times when my skin breaks out again, but I'm, I'm I'm telling you now that it's not going to bring me down anymore and I'm publicly saying it because I've kept kept it in the dark for so long. I've been quiet. I've felt like a lie. I felt like people don't know my secret. People don't know my secret. I walk around and I'm this pretty girl. People say that I'm pretty. I don't feel that way ever, but you know, um I walk around as this pretty girl, but little do they know what, what lies underneath you know little do they know little do they know but now you know and i don't have to live a secret anymore if i stopped using acne.org my skin would break out my skin would break out and that's that and um and it's okay it's okay because like i said at the beginning of the video i'm a vessel um the skin that I walk around in is the least important thing about me. And I'm giving it too much power. I'm giving it too much power. And um, there's some women that I know have given it too much power too. Um, beauty is in everything. I remember on my YouTube channel a few years, a couple, whew, a lot, a long time ago, I sang the song Pretty Hurts by Beyonce. Shine a light on whatever's worse. Perfection is a disease of a nation. And it is. It's funny how that was the song that I chose to sing about. And it's been the realest, it's been the realest thing in my life. I've, 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 my whole life revolves around wanting to be perfect, about wanting to have clear skin, about wanting to be a normal human being who doesn't have to worry about my skin. But I, I do have to. It's one of the things. God made me this way. You know, I look, I look outside and see the trees and the flowers and, and I'm just like God made that and God made me and he made me this way and so I'm gonna use it as a platform to speak life rather than death so yeah that's all I have to say um, thank you for listening to my rambling to my personal therapy ses session to my just getting it out 